Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we are going to be putting our roof back up that we ripped down and originally we had plans of making a lovely ply roof which is the same thickness of that plastic putting that up but we saw the price of thin ply and it's a lot more expensive than thick ply so we decided we're just going to stick that back up we're going to paint anyway so it's going to look pretty much the same so we're going to stick this plastic back up give it a coat of um, couple of few coats of nice cream paint and uh, yeah it looked pretty good but we've got to you know mount the roof up we've got to screw it up then we've got to dr uh, drill loads of holes for the lights to come through then we've got to paint it so there's quite a lot that goes into it and um, yeah this that's what this video is going to be about uh, it's quite a fiddly job so hope you all enjoy we do have a slight problem one being we have some rivets stuck in here these ones are almost impossible to get out, no matter if you hammer them, they don't move. But don't worry, because the wood, as you can see, is higher up than them, so there won't be a problem. Second thing is this. this sticky pad. Now, just remove it, you'd say. Yeah, if it was so easy, I would. But, yeah. You try and move it, you try and peel it off, but it doesn't peel off, it just rips off in tiny little bits. So it's literally impossible to get off, so I do have an idea for that. This wood here is minutely, this bit of wood here is minutely thicker, I can't really show you, but it's about like half a millimetre or whatever thicker. So we're going to use this on the bits without any of this black stuff, okay? Because they're slight, uh, that bit of wood is slightly thicker, so it's gonna stick up about the same thickness as this. And then we use these ones, which are slightly thinner, on the black. Okay, so we've got some of this, it sticks like shit, um, <laughs> clear. So, um, should uh, it's so light, don't need any support. Because if we uh, would just stick the roof up with this stuff, it would need support because the weight of the roof would be too heavy. <clears throat> I think that'll be alright for the first bit. Don't want to put anything too close to this because the roof needs to slide underneath this. And this flat surface there. Um, This roof or wall can be moved a bit, so if it is a bit tight going in the roof, we just move that. I hope this works. No, I don't want to do it. Is that a good bit? Uh, let's see. So this this wood is the right thickness. It roughly brings the styrofoam to the same level, you know or brings the mount points of the roof to the same level as the styrofoam. It's a styrofoam too thick. Stick up that rougher side. Right, there we go. Just put up this third one here. Um, going for about four mounts. Uh, if there was a strip all the way along, you'd need a thin bit of wood because obviously you'd have to bend it. And that would put a lot of pressure on that bend and would likely come undone from the adhesive. So it's better to do it in strips like this, I reckon. Thing. 
Right, I've got these to a perfect six and a half inches now to fit in between these rivets because they stick up. Okay, so that'll be all right. Oh. That should fit in nicely there. Yep. Right, so I've got them going along like that in between the rivets, so there's no like sticking up anywhere, you know. This <laughs> this bit of roof literally just fell down a minute ago. Stuck it back up temporarily, but yeah. Ain't gonna stay on for long, I'll tell you that. So I'll just cut the bits of here, measuring the distance between these rivets, so three six and a half inches, and and then these ones are different. They're not equally spaced out all of these rivets, so I've got to cut you know individual pieces. Right, it's the next day now, and as you can see, the roof collapsed again. I'm just propping it up now because. Um, Silicone doesn't work on this stuff, I found out. <laughs> That's collapsed as well. But as for the wood, let's have a little test. Look at that. That is stuck on good. I'm happy with that. It's really on there. So yeah, I did all of these last night. It got dark. So I couldn't film it really. But yeah. It's all done. Now well, we're just waiting to pick the roof up. We're going to pick this uh, bit of plastic up again, shall we? Doing that instead of trying the plywood, is it? Yep. That's that in there. And that's that in there. Where does it screw to? This wood here and in here. Wow. So wood there, is it? No, this thing screws up the roof. Oh, that's alright then. This bit is screwed in to the roof. There we go. One in. We've just got to pick this bit of roof up. I screw it into our wood here. Screw this roof Push up. it in the middle of the roof. Huh? Push the roof. I will when I screw it in. Oh, okay. I was just saying, because if you push it in the middle, it will push it this way to get that in. These screws will be covered up with trim, so don't worry about that. There we go. Right. There we go, guys. That's not half bad, is it? It's up. And it's sturdy. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea, those wood. Bits of wood. The fun's gonna start when we have to run or drill holes before we pick the roof up. The roof's stuck back up, duct tape this time. That should hold it. Um, that one's stuck up back up as well. Just gotta stick all these wires back up, they're falling back down. Now we've gotta drill our holes with the wires. Switch. Oh, yeah. 
blocks are in the wall. Uh, yeah, it will be way. pushed back up through. Once we're done, we'll push it back up into the... Okay. What is that? Is that a light? Gosh. Yes. Yeah. yeah, right, that's okay then. So when we drill the hole for the light, we can push it back into the ceiling. Get it? Mm. You sure that's right there? Because you've got to come up to the wood and screw in. So you've got to come here, really. It's fine, it's good, um... You've got to come here, really. Yeah, I know, you tell me that. Move your hand, move it along. Oh. Yeah, that's Sure, that's, that's way over from the other light. Oh, I've done that, I know, just put it at an angle. That's better that way, because then you've got light over this side. Oh, there's the trouble. Oh, I can't reach. No, I've got those. But those have come out now. And these... Uh, Gone. No, it's not even in there because this doesn't come up to the wood. There's been a bit of an oversight here. Um, this bit of roof doesn't go over this wood enough, so to screw it in. So I've just put these little bits of plastic in, screwed them in, so that, and they go back a little bit further, so we screwed these screws in. Put some grit fill in there. There'll be a beam along here, so. Once everything's up, it'll be fine. Centre beam. A buffalo soldier. Oh, that water or something behind this. Oh, that's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, God. 
Oh, you've got to unscrew this bit of wood now. And then what I would do is screw it back in to help support the roof until we get yeah. Well, I can't do it straight away because I need to drill the wires. This is about roughly where you want it. Hang on, really, eh? I need to fold the wires up a bit. Oh, okay. What does that mean? Like, because they're all sprayed out. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's something coming through now. Yeah, that's, that's black. That's a black. Is this, is this, oh, I'm far from here. I'm going to have to turn up on it again. Is the red? Yeah. Oh, is that all you can give me? Yeah. So we can't see behind this one very well. We need to know where this switch is going to be. <sighs> See the wires back there? Yeah, so I've got to try and drill a hole there. The light's here, so just tape measure it. I'm holding them, supporting the roof because of these cables. Oh, that's going down. Thanks, oh, man. Got it. Head straight in. Let this down a bit. It's a feature. What would you like me to do first? To put some screws in so it stops my back out. Oh no, not in. That's come undone now. I was trying to save, save the cables, but yeah, okay. You want enough here to tie a proper knot. Then. <laughs> Next job, we've got to put this back up. It holds this. There's no beam here, so this is the bit that holds the flange up. The roof, yeah. In the roof. We've got a few wires behind it. Let's try and get out of the way here. Yeah. Perfect. Lucky. Perfect. Got that one in. This one was rivet riveted this side, so I don't know how we're going to stick that up. Right now, oh, you can put a thing in there, Josh. A raw plug in the screw in there. That's it. And there we go. Roof is back up. And we did it. Glad to see the end of that. <laughs> now, I'm going to paint it, but um, I'll do that later. For you guys, it'll be instant. Right, let's move on to painting the roof. Firstly, we have to key it, um, which involves sanding the roof down a bit and cleaning it, just so the paint has something to grip to, you know, a rough surface to grip to. Oh, 
first layer of paint will be a layer of undercoat. I'm doing some work today. <laughs> Jesus. I'd rather just sit and relax and um, read my book, but no, I don't mind. I don't mind mucking in. I suppose the boys are doing everything, aren't they? Yeah. Um, but you're quite good at painting, aren't you? Yeah, better than your dad. Better than me as well. Because <laughs> my arms go dead and I hold them up. Oh, for sake. The roof, we're using this craft master's coach and animal off white, but. It's not really supposed to be used for this application, but it'll do the job. Really good quality paint. Maybe for painting it out, but what have you done already? Yeah. Well, I tell you what, guys. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right painting, but I'll probably get more on myself than yeah than on the ceiling. <laughs> Watch your face. <laughs> I'm a bit like this with painting, I end up getting more on myself than on the ceiling. <laughs> Look at me old top. <laughs> The next day we had to go to Sheffield where we get everything delivered because we had some mattresses coming. But we were waiting there about four hours but because they were two hours late on the given time slot. While we were waiting we decided to give the roof another coat of paint. And the day after that mum gave the roof the third and final coat. Right, so that is the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, yeah, pretty fiddly job in the end, wasn't it? Putting that bloody roof back up. It was quite funny actually watching it in retrospect. But doing it was bloody frustrating. Um, but yeah, it looks quite alright. Um, although, I think we should have done the last coat when everything was in place because the roof's, roof's quite small. We scraped a lot of the paint off now, accidentally while we're doing work in there. Um, so maybe we'll try and give it another coat um, but yeah it looks pretty good and saved ourselves some money not buy and ply and just reused the plastic and gave it a paint a coat um, so stay tuned for the next video because we'll be uh, installing our lights which means cutting out holes putting the lights in 
because it's getting dark in our nights. Um, so we need some light in there when it gets dark early, about four o'clock, you know, we need to see what we're doing. So that's first things first, get the lights installed, you can see what we're doing. So stay tuned to the next video. See you next one, guys. Bye-bye.